What is up YouTube, my name is John and today I will be reacting to Dead Wave by American Noir. This has been requested on my Patreon by Eric, so thank you so much. And also today I can actually say that I'm on borrowed time because the batteries in my lightning are going to die any second now, so I need to be a little bit quicker about this video today, so I hope you won't mind that. Maybe the light will hold, maybe not, we will see, but right now, without further ado, let's just jump into Dead Wave by American Noir, I have no idea what this is, we're going to see, so yeah, here we go, 3, 2, 1, boom. Also 420. The link of the video. <laughs> nice. This is interesting. Love the vibrato, man. So strong. Slowing down even more. Damn, those electronics though. <laughs> Sorry. All the backing art work is a very cool touch. The drum and the bass battle.
Well, definitely did not expect that. I don't even know what genre I would call it, but you know, it's metal. It sounds like metal with some electronics and with very bluesy vocals. So yeah, that was Dead Wave American, American Noir, actually. That's what I wanted to say. And yeah, this was an interesting combination. I'm not entirely sure if it worked for me though, because you know, in the beginning when you know it was just the beat, the kick drum, and you know the vocals just kicked in, I was I was really liking it, and I was like, okay, so these vocals, you know, really flow well, a really beautiful bluesy, vibratory kind of voice, and. I still do love the vocals, but I just feel like these vocals, at least, I don't know, 80% of the vocals were like recorded for another song, because I don't, didn't really feel like they meshed with the heavy riffs all that well, and they were a little bit too back in the mix, I believe, as well as the solo at the end there was just a little bit buried under, you know, the rhythm guitar, really, you know, getting those riffs up front and also those elect electronics you know that were thrown here and there those were really loud as well love the little drum and bass moment that was really cool uh, if I should say which part was my favorite I would actually say it was the beginning and then actually I think the chorus was really cool as well you know the oh the kind of vocal that kind of fit there in the song. I wasn't really sure about it, uh, you know, in the beginning, but, you know, as I heard the uh, last chorus actually sat with me a little bit more. But, you know, most of the vocals, it just felt like it belongs into another song, you know? You know, this vocal approach, it's not always easy to mesh this vocal approach, this kind of bluesy voice, vocals, very, you know, vibratory kind of stuff, and just this overall, this vocal approach with heavier music. A band that does it really well is, you know, Ginger Tatiana obviously has amazing vocals. Obviously, again, she does a little bit of a, you know, a mesh of styles, but sometimes she just uses her, you know, that bluesy voice, and especially, you know, in the verses of like, I don't know, I Speak Astronomy, let's just say, let this binary be blessed. I can't sing, but I hope you know what I mean. And just the overbearing riffing just doesn't really, in my opinion, complement the vocals really all that well. I think this can absolutely work and, you know, the musicianship is is great. Is there, vocals are great, sounding great, you know. Guitars have a great sound, it's just, you know, the mix sometimes, you know, it just buries the vocals and the solo was buried as well. And the electronics sometimes were like way too in my face. Even though sometimes I like them in my face, but in this case I was like, okay, you know, calm down a little bit with those electronics, you know, it was just here and there, but yeah. And I think this can work, but for this to really work, you would need to change up some stuff in the songwriting itself. Because I just felt, you know, you had the intro and there was some slowing down after the first chorus, I believe. It was kind of weird, I don't know, I just felt like it was a little bit off for me. Maybe it was intentional, I, it might have been intentional, I don't know, but felt a little bit disjointed at places. I think songwriting-wise, I can say that try to, you know, merge the vocals with the riffs you know, a little bit better, because in this song, it, you know, the chorus almost had it, it was cool, it was, you know, pleasant to listen to quite, but some of those parts just, I don't know, man, it just felt, you know, guitars are playing another song and vocals belong into another song, and as I said before, it can be done right, and I believe this band has the potential to do it right, it just... Just some things need to change in the songwriting, you know, the riffs just need to complement the vocals a little bit differently, it just needs to be written more around the vocals and it just needs to kinda, you know, fit in more, it needs to just freaking click 
For me, this didn't really click in most places. Sometimes it did, you know, the, those things that I mentioned before. Obviously, musicianship is there, great musicians. Alright, yeah, so I'm sorry for being so critical today, but that's just my, you know, it's just my opinion, it's just how I feel about this song, and I just had to let it all out because it wasn't something that I would listen to again, it wasn't something, you know, extremely, like, memorable, and I just felt like there were some, some, you know, in the songwriting and vocals, riffs just kind of colliding with, e with each other and not complimenting each other. Those are just my gripes with this song, so yeah, I'm sorry, the potential is there, but you know, the songwriting needs definitely to improve. Alright guys, so that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to Dead Wave, American Noir. Uh, again, I'm sorry that it was quite a critical one, but it's just, you know, my honest feelings. I'm always trying to be honest with you guys and this one just, you know, kind of didn't do it for me. So yeah, thank you Eric for suggesting this song and yeah, that is it. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and my reaction, consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff because as you know, there is always more videos coming your way. And if you feel like talking to me outside of YouTube, there are links to my social medias down in the description below this video as well as a link where you can directly support my channel and what I do here either by PayPal or on Patreon. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching, thank you Eric for suggesting this song, again, sorry for being so critical of this one, but it's just my honest feelings, yeah, and yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching for the first time in this video, and I will see you all in the next video, so have a nice day, evening, night, or whatever you have right now, cheers!